I apologize guys for starting off this video by doing my hair. Sorry about that. And you have seen me without my glasses, which I really don't like. They look weird, but my eyes look really blue. But anyway, sorry. <laughs> that was random. But anyway, um, so I don't know how many of you watched my last video, which was just kind of me rambling about random stuff and talking about a Q&A video, which if you want to find out information about it, just go watch that one. But I did mention that I'm gonna, I did go make a new playlist where I have all my reviews, my movie and uh, book reviews. But I also mentioned how I was gonna start doing uh, TV show reviews. And I thought, what better way to start that with than with Doctor Who? Now, um, before I get into my review, some little, um, little tidbit of information. Um, first of all, um, I haven't watched any classic Who. These reviews will only be about new Who because I cannot find any Classic Who. I want to watch Classic Who so badly, but I haven't found anywhere I can watch it. So if anyone knows, please let me know. Please, please. But anyway, um, I got into Doctor Who because of Tumblr. Um, like, I'd heard of Doctor Who, but I had no desire to watch it because I do not like sci-fi. That's not my genre of, of, for anything, really. Movies, um, TV shows, books. I don't like sci-fi. So when... You know, I heard about Doctor Who, I was like, I'm not going to like this because I don't like sci-fi. Just, eh, no. But then I started seeing, like, gift sets and all this other stuff on Tumblr, and I just got interested. Damn you, Tumblr. Always getting me interested. But, um, anyway, so I finally gave in, and I asked some people, like, can you give me, like, a little bit of what it's about? And everyone gets saying, it's a really hard show to explain, and it really is a really hard show to explain to someone that's never seen it and um, so I gave in and even though some people told me you know start with uh, David Tennant episodes or start with Matt Smith Matt, bleh, Matt Smith ones like I'm the kind of person that when I start a show I have to start from the very beginning and though technically I'm not starting from the beginning because if I'm starting from the beginning I'd be starting with the first episode back in with the first Doctor but no I started with New Who which meant the ninth Doctor so yeah, I checked that out from my library, and I watched the first series, and I fell in love with it, which I was pleasantly surprised because, like I said, I don't like sci-fi, but yeah, I love Doctor Who, which is really weird. And but I'm like my mom. My mom's not a huge sci-fi fan either, but she loved Doctor. Who. I got my mom in Doctor Who, so that's an accomplishment for me. But anyway, and I got my friend Ashley in Doctor Who, so I'm accomplished. Anyway, um, so I this review this one and. The other ones I'll do on the other uh, five series is um, I'll talk about the characters that, and, you know, whether I like or dislike them or, you know, um, I'll talk about each episode and then give an overview of my feelings about the series. And also real quick, um, whenever I watch anything for with an accent or talk about anything that I know the show has an accent, um, that accent usually comes out, so if I, at any point in this video, kind of slip into a British accent, I apologize ahead of time. So, yeah. But anyway, let's get started. So, first off, I, if I get any of these um, actors' act names, may, probably mainly their last name, wrong, I apologize ahead of time. And the reason I'm saying that the very first character I'm going to talk about is Jackie Tyler, who's played by Camille Codery. Codery? I don't know. I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, she plays Rose's mom, Jackie Tyler, and I actually knew of this actress from one thing beforehand, and that was she was in King Ralph. Like, as soon as I watched the first episode, I'm like, oh my god, it's Ralph from King Ralph! Awesome! And I loved her in that movie, so yeah. And I do love Jackie. Like, I see people have mixed feelings with Jackie. Some people find her really annoying. Some people just love her to death. I'm one of the people that love her to death because I just love how, like, she is overbearing, she is annoying, and she can be really stupid sometimes, but I just love Jackie. She amuses me so greatly. Though, though I do feel like they have too much, they have too heavy of makeup on her. That's my opinion. I just, there are some, I, I, I think it mainly in season one, partly in series two, where there's just, her face is caked with makeup. I'm like, why is there so much makeup on her face? God damn it, stop. But yeah, I, I love Jackie. Um, next is Mickey Smith, played by Mill Clark. And this is a character that, like, I see so many people hate Mickey 
or just say, you know, like, oh, Mickey's useless and all this stuff. I love Mickey. I don't understand why Mickey doesn't get more love. Like, I will admit the first episode, like, when I watched it, I was like, oh, my God, he is so pathetic. Oh, God, just go away. But, and he did. But, yeah, I, as a series one progress, I was like, oh, I do love Mickey. I feel sorry for Mickey. Oh, God, he loves Rose, and Rose is just like, I love the doctor. But, yeah, so, but I do love Mickey, and he's sweet. And I'm going to tell you right now, this is going to be a long video, and I apologize. Um, this third character on my list is Captain Jack Harkness, who's played by John Barrowman, and I love him so much. I love Captain Jack. He amuses me so much. He's so fun, fantastic, and I love John Barrowman, who plays him, and that was, my voice sounds really weird right there. I'm sorry. And John Barrowman does such a good job of playing him, and I will admit, I was caught off guard when, um, he first came into the series, and he was... American, I was like, whoa, hey, hi, American dude, sweet. And I also love that, you know, the first scene we see of him is he's, like, checking out Rose's ass while she's dangling in midair. And then he, like, flirts with the guy in the room with, that's in the room with him. I was like, oh, I'm gonna love you. You're gonna be a good time. Okay. And then Rose Tyler, who's played by Billy Piper. And, yes, I will admit, Rose does have her moments where I just, ugh, I'm like that, like, Rose, come on. But other than that, like, I do love Rose. She, she's so adorable and cute, and she's funny. And Billy does such a great job of playing her, and Billy's beautiful. And so that's, yeah, I, I, just, I love Rose. And then finally, the Doctor himself, the Ninth Doctor, who's played by Christopher Eccleston, who, okay, first off, first and foremost, I love the ninth doctor i do not understand why so many people hate him like i see people when they talk when i ask them like why they don't like him they're like oh he's too angry and he's too much of an asshole and i'm like well that's what he has to be he's he's just dealt with the time war you know he's lost his whole race like he's not gonna be a happy-go-lucky guy he's gonna be angry and bitter and ugh, you know and mad at the world i mean come on that's what he has to be i mean that's what I would expect. Like, honestly, if, like, the Ninth Doctor was, like, all happy-go-lucky after dealing with the Time War, I would have been, like, that's not believable at all. The fact that he's so angry and kind of mean, it's totally believable to me. So that's why I love him. And he does have his so, um, so funny moments. And, like, the moment I fell in love with the Ninth Doctor, it was in the first episode, Rose, and it was the moment where he um, kind of, like, pushes Rose out of the building close the door and then he pops the door back open and he's like I'm the doctor by the way what's your name and she's like Rose and he goes nice to meet you Rose run for your life I'm like I I swear the first time I watched it I paused and I was rolling I was like I love you he's so to quote the doctor he's fantastic and oh god I just I love the ninth doctor you no one can tell me different and also he is my doctor because I know most people I know, they say, like, David Tennant's their doctor, or Matt Smith's their doctor. No, Christopher Eccleston, he's my doctor. I will forever love and have a soft spot in my heart for the ninth doctor. So, yeah, that is my overview, kind of the characters. So, now we're going to get into the episodes. Um, there are only two episodes in this whole series where I'm, like, indifferent to. Like, I'm like, okay, I don't love it, I don't hate it. There are four that I absolutely hate, and the rest of them I just adore. So I'm going to go with the eh ones. Um, the first one that I'm eh with is the first episode, Rose. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. Um, I don't like that the big bad in the episode are mannequins. Like, I'm like, wait, really? Like, that was probably, at first I was like, I don't know if I'm going to like the show because of the mannequins. I was like, that's the aliens were fighting? Mannequins? What? the hell but but the thing that made me like it was rose and the doctor because they just she's she it's so funny like i mentioned the part where he's like run for your life like that just made me laugh and i also love the little speech that he gives to rose about like how he can feel if i remember correctly, he can feel the earth turning i loved that speech and i was like wow and then the other part i love that made me laugh because I was like really you're supposed to be this like really old alien and you're that are you you're you're that stupid was when you're talking about how like um the consciousness needed like this big circular thing to be a conductor 
and it was, I don't know what it's called, but it's that big wheel, I think it's, like, I, I don't know, but, like, Rose was, like, pointing at it, like, that, and he just kept turning, what, what, and then, like, finally, I think it was, like, the third or fourth time he looked at it, it finally clicked, he was like, oh, fantastic, let's go, you know, I was just, but, <laughs> I was just like, really, come on, it's obvious, really, okay, but, yeah, so I'm indifferent towards that first episode. Like like I said, I don't like it, but I don't hate it. Um, the other episode I'm indifferent to is Bad Wolf, which is episode 12. Um, like, I don't know. It's just not great to me, but it's not horrible. Um, I do like that they're in different reality shows. Like, um, Rose is in um, Weakest Link with the android. <laughs> And uh, the doctor's in Big Brother and Cap in Jack's. I don't know what show he's on, but it's like a fashion show. And yeah, the one part that I did love in Bad Wolf was when the doctor thinks that they like disintegrated Rose and like that look of pain on his face. I was like, oh my god. Like, oh, my poor baby. And then I was sad. I was like, I actually thought they killed Rose. I was like, what the hell? But other than that, yeah, like I said, bad whiff, eh, I'm indifferent towards it. Um, the episodes I hate, like, when I rewatched, because I'd watch, like, all six series, and then my mom was like, I want to watch it, because she'd seen a couple episodes when we still had BBC America on our TV. So then she's like, get them from the library, Let's, I want to watch from the beginning. So when these episodes, we came to these episodes, like, I grabbed my laptop, and I'm like, I don't care, I'm not paying attention, unless you ask me a question, other than that, I don't really want to watch these episodes, and that is, um, well, the one that I hate, and then I'll tell you specifically, are Aliens of London, World War Three, The Long Game, and Boomtown. Now, Boomtown, Aliens of London, and World War Three. the main reason I hate those three is because of Slovene. I'm sorry. I don't like those characters. Hold on. What? No, Dad, what? I wanna... Dad, come on, this is gonna run freaking longer than it's supposed to. It's hot. I don't care. I don't care. Close the door. Sorry. Sorry. Um, if I came off bitchy too, but, uh, anyway. Sorry. I lost my train of thought. But yeah, the Slovene, I don't like the Slovene. They, uh, they're just ridiculous to me. But, um, I always do feel accomplished when I can say Raxacorico Valvatorius. I did say that right, damn it. Raxacorico Valvatorius. Yeah, Raxacorico Valvatorius. Like, I practiced that shit. Like, after I, the first time I heard it, I was like, I'm so But yeah, I just don't. Um, in Aliens London, the only thing that I like is when Jackie slaps Doctor. And um, I think that's it in Aliens of London. Oh, by the way, Aliens of London and uh, World War Three, they introduced Harriet. Her and I love Harriet. Yay! So... I love Harry. Anyway, um, in World War Three, I do like the part where the doctor, when he's on the phone with Jackie and Mickey, you know, says something, if I remember correctly, along the lines of, I could save the world but lose you, and he's talking to Rose, and I was like, oh. And then Boomtown, Boomtown's just stupid, okay? I'm sorry. Boomtown is a stupid episode, and I hate it. The only good thing about that is, like, the part where Captain Jack's like, whatever. <laughs> that's about it. Like, it's a stupid episode. And then we did my... The Long Game. The Long Game is another stupid episode, and pointless episode, in my opinion. Like, I hated Adam. I thought he was a douchebag. I laughed hysterically when the Doctor and Rose kept going like this to make his forehead open. But I was just like, I hate you. Go away. Go away. You're stupid. And I just didn't like that episode at all. It was a stupid episode. Yeah. Okay, the episode I loved... Um, I love The End of the World. It's, I, I think it's such a good episode. And I just, in the parts that I love the most, um, first of all, I love when the doctor dances, when they play, um, Tan and Love, and he's like, that was a horrible impersonation, but yeah, I just love it. And then I love the conversation that, um, I can't remember her name, but the tree woman, has with the doctor when he gets emotional about when she's, you know, telling him that she knows what he is, his species. I do like that. 
And then I always laugh when like Cassandra, who I fucking hate, is um saying like I think it was like a traditional ballad, and they start playing "Toxic" by Britney Spears. I'm like, what the hell? And then also, I love that the, she said the jukebox is called an iPod. What? And then um, 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 um what? there was another part. I do love when they go when Rose and the Doctor go back to her time. And he explains to her about, you know, what he's lost and everything. And, you know, that sweet look she gives him. And she's like, well, you got me. And I'm like, oh, I love it. Be together. <laughs> That's actually probably when I started shipping them. Shipping nine and Rose was that little scene. I was like, oh. Um, where was I? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, the, the third episode, um, Surprisingly, a lot of people hate it, and that is The Unquiet Dead. I actually really love The Unquiet Dead. And also, I love that, um, what's her name? I wrote it down. Eve Miles? Miles? Ooh, God, I'm getting people's names wrong. But, um, I l love her character in it. And I, real quick, I love that in the Forest series when they see her because they, like, have Torchwood in it. I love that they're like, you look, do you have any family in this time? It's like, ha, 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 funny. I like it. Um, but the reason I really love that episode is it kind of shows, like, how different an ink, you know, Rose and the Doctor are, where the Doctor doesn't care, really. In, in my opinion, he doesn't seem to care that much about, like, I can't remember her character, his character's name in, it, in the episode, but her life, which seemed rude to me. I don't know. I just, it doesn't seem like he cares. And Rose is the one who's like, no, you can't do that. And he's just like, uh, yeah, I can. You can't tell me what to do. And yeah. But I do like the part where, like, he's like, I'm so glad. They're like, I'm so glad I met you. Me too. And he's like, oh. Um. Okay, I don't love this one, but I do like it. And it's the Dalek episode where you first you know, in New Who, you first meet the Daleks, and that's, like, such an emotional episode, in my opinion, with the Doctor, and you see so much of his anger, too, towards the Daleks, and it's like, oh my god, it's so, and Christopher Eccleston did such a good job in that episode, so much emotion, fuck, this is really long, um, but I think the scene that, but it's also an episode where I firmly believe that the Doctor really started fall, like, I'm, I, I'm pretty sure there are scenes earlier in the series where it looked like you could tell he was falling for a rose but I think that episode solidified it for me when the look of so much anguish and her you know sadness on his face when he thought the Dalek had killed Rose and I'm like oh my god I just wanted to give him a hug it was so sad um yeah I'm just gonna real quick go through the other ones I love and then talk um Father's Day I cried like an effing baby to that one but I also wanted to hit Rose. I was like, no, what are you doing? Like, ugh. Like, I, under I perfectly understood both sides of that, the argument in that episode. Like, I understood why Rose, you know, she, she didn't really get to know her dad. She never, like, knew him. And, like, so this whole opportunity, she just couldn't stand by and let him die. But I understand the doctor, because it was like, oh, God, freaking just listen to me when I tell you not to do something, because I know what I'm talking about. You know, sometimes he doesn't know what he's talking about. But, you know what I mean? So, like, I just love that dynamic of him, in a way, kind of feeling like he was disappointed in her. And then her kind of being sad that he was disappointed in her, if, if that makes sense. But Father's Day just breaks my heart every time I watch it, mainly for Rose. I'm just like, oh. And then um, The Empty Child and The Doctor Dances. I love those episodes. Those are probably my favorite episodes of this whole series right there. And also, I am for, will forever be never want to hear a child come up to whether they have a gas mask or not say i am my mummy no don't ever do that i will run but i just love it and of course you get introduced to captain jack and um uh I'm rambling and clearly i lost my train of thought but i just love the whole storyline of it and it's just a good episode um i don't really have a lot of favorite moments in the empty child, but I have a lot more in the doctor dances, and one of them being on the beginning of it, which takes place right after the um, 
you know, the cliffhanger of the empty child, when all of the people are like cornering the Dr. Rose and Jack, and the doctor's like, go to your room, I'm very cross at you. And then like they all walk away and like he looks at Rose and Jack and he's like, oh, I'm glad that worked, that would have been horrible last words. <laughs> and it's like fantastic. And then when he like switches um, Jack's squareness gun with a banana, and like he sh uh, makes a square in the uh, wall, and yells, don't drop the banana. And Jack's like, why not? And the doctor's like, good sauce of potassium. I was like, really? And bananas are good. And I, oh god, it's just amusing me. And I love when Rose and the doctor dance together. It's so cute. Um, and then the last episode is um, The Parting of the Ways, which is Coach Alkinson's last episode because he regenerates at the end of that one. And I do love that episode. And oh my god, I did cry. I cried like a baby because I knew, because I will admit, I did look up. I found a video where I showed all the doctors regeneration from 1 to 11. Well, 11 other regenerated, but you know what I mean. And so I watched the video, so I knew how everyone regenerated, so yeah, I cheated there, sorry. But because of that, I kind of stole David's end the line when he regenerates while I was watching 9 regenerate, because anyone who's watched the show knows that when 10 regenerates, he goes, I don't want to go. And while I was watching uh, 9 was about to regenerate. I was just sitting there, tears running down my face, and I was like, I don't want you to go. Um, but yeah, I love the scene when Rose takes in the vortex, right? I'm, I always get so confused on that. But yeah, she takes the TARDIS into herself, and I love when, like, the doctor's trying to tell her, you know, stop what you're doing, you know, stop. And she kind of looks at him and she's like, I want to keep you safe, my doctor. I was like, oh. I love it. And then, okay, I will admit, I, I seriously, when the first time I watched The Parting of the Ways, I looked at my TV and I just, like, stopped and paused and I was like, really? That is so fucking cheesy. Oh, God. But I, when the doctor, when he's about to kiss Rose and he's like, I think you need a doctor. And I was like, really? Cheese. Oh, so cheesy. And I love the kiss between the doctor and Rose, like, I'm not gonna lie, I wish, like, could, you know, I figured out why he was doing it, like, he wanted to, but I, he still, there was a reason behind it, and I was like, oh, I don't want there to be a reason, I just wanted to kiss her, and then I was also mad that you find out, like, Rose isn't gonna remember a said kiss, and I was like, fuck you, but I did laugh when she woke up, and she's, like, you know, asking what happened, and like, she mentioned singing, and she, and the doctor's like, yep, I sing a song, and the dog was, the dog was right away. And I do love that the last word you hear him say, you know, I do love when he looks at Rose right before he regenerates and he says, um, oh God, now I've lost it. Um, you know, he's like, you were fantastic. And you know what? So was I. And, uh, and I just bawled. And then David Tennant came on screen and I smiled a little, but I was still so sad. <laughs> but I do like the part, like, when he... You know, he's checking out his body. He's like, mm, new teeth. And all that. I'm talking about Barcelona. And I'm like, oh, God. But, yeah. I, I love Christopher. I'm so sad that there's only one series. Like, I know he had his reasons for leaving, but I'm still so sad he only had one series. And in my, like, dream hopes, I would love for him to come back for the 50th anniversary. It's probably not going to happen, but I can sit here and dream. So, yeah, this is really long, and I really apologize for this guy. I did not think it was going to be this long. Oh, my God, I'm so sorry. But, um, yeah. Um, I give the series overall a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Mainly because, like I said, there was just some episodes that I'm just like, oh, God, you're, you're re the reason you exist just sucks. Why? Go away. But, yeah, other than that, I love the first series. I don't understand why so many people don't like it. I don't understand why they don't like the Ninth Doctor. He's fantastic. And, yeah, so give me, so comment below. Tell me your opinions of the first season. If you agree with anything I've said, tell me. If you don't agree, what your opinions are. I would love to talk to you about them. A reminder, leave questions on my, my last video that I made. If you have any questions for me. And they can be about anything, absolutely anything. I'll answer them. So, yeah. I don't know when I'll do my Series 2 review, but it should be soon-ish. Can't always promise. 
But yeah, so that was my review of the first series of Doctor Who. Hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, until next time, uh, comment, like, favorite, subscribe. Until next time, bye guys.